Okay guys, now we're going to have a look at how you find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of two numbers using Venn diagrams. So in one of my other videos, we looked at how to put the numbers 24 and 60 and we broke them down to a product of their prime factors. If you don't really know how to do that, just go back to my previous video and you can have a look at how we break them down. And once we did that, 24 was 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and 60 was 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, so again, if you don't know how to do that bit, just look at my previous video about how you break numbers down to a product of their prime factors. Now, we can use a Venn diagram, so just to refresh your memories, a Venn diagram is just two circles that overlap. Okay, this circle here, I've got for 24. This one here, I've got for 60. Now, all you do is you have a look at the product of prime factors for each number. And the reason why I put them in order is because it makes it really easy to see which ones are the same. So as you can see here, I've got two and two. So I'm gonna cross that one off there, cross that one off there. And remember, with the Venn diagram, if anything is the same to both, it goes in the middle like so. So notice I've crossed that one off, that one off, and I've only put one in there because two was the same to both. I'm going to carry on. I've got another two. That's the same to both. So that's also going to go in there. And I've got a three. So a three goes in there as well. Now what's left for 24 is a two. And what's left for 60 is a five. So that's how you fill in your Venn diagram. Okay, the ones that are the same go in the middle. Anything left goes either side. Now, to find the highest common factor, so remember this is the highest number that goes into 24 and 60, all you do is multiply the numbers that are in the middle here. So 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12. So the highest common factor is 12. Now, to work out the lowest common multiple, which for big numbers is probably the hardest thing to do, but this method makes it nice and easy, you multiply all the numbers that are in your Venn diagram. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So let's write that out. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay? So 5 times 3 is 15, times 2 is 30, times 2 is 60, times 2 is 120. So the lowest common multiple there is 120. Okay? Go on to our next example. Again, 28 and 42. I want to know the highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So you break them down into a product of their prime factors. Again, go back to my previous video if you need to. And we have a look. Which ones are the same? Well, 2 is the same. So I'll put 2 in the middle. And 7 is the same, so I put 7 in the middle. Notice I only put 1, 2 and 1, 7 in. What's left for 28? I've got 2. And then what's left for 42 is a 3. So to find the highest common factor, just like before, we multiply the numbers that are in the middle. So 2 times 7 is 14. So the highest common factor is 14. Just a quick note, if there's only one number in there, then that's just the highest common factor. You don't have to worry about multiplying it by anything, but if there's just one number in the middle, that is just the highest common factor. And then to find the lowest common multiple, we multiply all the numbers in here. So 2 times 2, I'm going to go to the 3 just to keep them in order, and then times 7. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And when you work that out, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, 12 times 7, 84. Okay, so the highest common factor, you multiply the centre. The lowest common multiple, you multiply all the numbers in the diagram. Okay.